Welcome back to Studio B on a winning Monday. I am Spencer Linton. He is Jerem Jordan. Let's roll out a busy weekend's worth of Monday headlines. Men's basketball beat TCU. Not sure if you heard about this. 87-75 uh, Saturday night. Trailed by a season-high 17 at halftime. BYU outscored TCU 58-29. In the second half, led by Foose 21, Trevin Nels 20, Dallin Hall 12 points, 7 assists. Richie Saunders was incredible off the bench as well. BYU now 21-8 overall, 9-7 in the Big 12. First time two games above 500. Tied for fourth. Cougars are 12 in net, 16 in Ken Palm. BYU at number eight, Iowa State Wednesday. Expected to be back in the top 25. Today it'll just be where they are. They deserve to be in the top 20, but I don't know if it's going to happen. 19, please. BYU women's basketball drops their regular season finale at number three, Texas in Austin on the Longhorn Senior Night, 71-46. Lauren Gustin did finish with a game-high 20 points at 15 rebounds, her 85th career double-double. 29th double-double on the season, which leads the country. Kaylee Woolston, the only other Cougar to finish in double figures, who scored 13 points. So with the loss, BYU finishes the regular season with a record of 16 and 15 and a conference record of 6 and 12. BYU earns the 10 seed and a first round bye. They'll take on the 7 seed Kansas, who is surging in the second round on Friday in Kansas City when the women's Big 12 tournament is rolling. Hey, men won at Kansas. Women coming for Kansas. Let's go. Three former BYU football players shined at the NFL Combine over the weekend, highlighted by quarterback Keaton Slovis, who ran the fastest 40 time of the four quarterbacks who ran with a time of 4.55 seconds. That's amazing. More coming up in the next segment on that. 4.55. Offensive lineman Kingsley Suamatia, by the way, third in the bench among O-linemen, 31 reps. BYU baseball, for the first time ever, they never did this in uh, WCC play, they sweep Gonzaga hey. at Miller Park in Thursday and Friday. Friday's doubleheader closed it out. Homers by Cooper Vest and Luke Anderson, rocking that karma, led the BYU offense to an 11-2 win in Game 1 on Friday. Bryce Robison pitched six innings, giving up just one earned run to get the win. In Game 2, it was Cooper Vest who hit his second home run of the day, and Breaker Herdsman hit a game-winning two-out, two-RBI single in the sixth inning that broke a 4-4 tie. That was the difference in BYU's 6-4 victory. Up next for the Batcats, who are now 5-5 five and five on the season, their first Big 12 series at West Virginia beginning on Thursday. Softball scored eight unanswered runs to beat UC Santa Barbara 8-3 to get to 14-4 this year. Violet Zavodnik sparked the BYU comeback with their sixth home run of the season. BYU hosts Texas Tech. It's first Big 12 Conference Series starting Thursday. Yeah, good one. BYU picked to finish seventh in conference. Texas Tech picked to finish sixth. Number 27, BYU Gymnastics, top Southern Utah at the Marriott Center Friday night. Judges were weirdly tough. 195.650 for the Cougars in the Taylor Swift Eras themed meet. Uh uh Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Some highlights from the meet, including Anissa Alvarado's 9.875 on the uneven bars. Heidi Schooley with a 9.85 on the floor. And Elise Rollins with a 9.85 on the beam as the beam queen. BYU back in action tonight, once again, against Southern Utah in Cedar City. Women's tennis swept Houston for its sixth straight win and improves to 2-0 in the Big 12. They've never lost in the Big 12. The men's team won its ninth straight match with a 6-1 win over Radford. A lot of winning happening right now for tennis. What's Radford's mascot? That one I don't know. The fighting so gonna, I don't we're know. We need to look that up. Men's and women's swim and dive finished competing at the Big 12 championships. The men's team took third overall while the women finished fifth. The men finished with two individual Big 12 champions, Brad Prolo, who's been a stud in the 200 fly, Prolo. and Jordan Tiffany in the 100 fly also. He's been great. Diver Mickey Strauss qualified for the Olympic trials in the three meter. On top of the two champions, BYU's men earned all, or eight rather, all conference first team honors and 13 second team nods. On the women's side, Victoria Schreiber, Mackenzie Lung, and Emma Marusakova earned all conference honors. Radford Highlanders. The Highlanders. There you go. Of Radford. Who knew? Both golf teams are in action today. The women at the Julie Inkster Meadow Club Intercollegiate in Fairfax, California. The men at the Lampkin Invitational at the San Diego Country Club. And we'll finish with this. Senior Associate Athletic Director and Senior Woman Administrator at BYU, Liz Darger, has been appointed to serve on the NCAA Division I Women's Basketball Committee with a five-year term that begins this September 1st. Congratulations to Liz. That's super exciting. She finished a doctorate in June. And then she was on the Young Women's Council with the church. And so now she's trans. She just likes being busy, apparently. Apparently. <laughs> Sheesh.